this is Friday the 16th of September and I've put the lamps in the places that they're going to go I've got one, two, three, four, five there and then we've got three here, one, two, three and I've got to connect them up uh, so I've got to solder some of the resistors to some wires to make them work uh, I've got two spare lights from like, the first pack of 10 uh, so I've got another 20, another 10 to go uh, which will be for the other boards when I get them now, my wife was asking when that's going to be, and as I said to her, well, we're not going to afford them. Uh, of course, uh, I've got to order them, and then wait for them to turn up. Uh, so, yeah, at the present moment, it's just a case of I need another eight bolts. And uh, I just don't have the money for those at the moment. <clears throat> so, yeah, working on that. So, yeah, I've got to solder up more of these resistors uh, in line so I can add those to the lights and protect them uh, from burning out because uh, although you can use them on 3 volts uh, all I'll find is that if you're going to leave them on for a length of time i.e. over a few over five minutes uh, they do tend to get very very hot and uh, they will blow uh, so uh, putting in the resistors to bring the power down uh, and make sure it stays down and uh, levels out but yeah these have got to be stuck into place and then wired and um, I left them like that for a moment because these I've now put down these what these two and the station lights work and I've wired those up in resistors and uh, the church does work but it's a bit muted because of the uh, covering I put over the lights uh, over the windows uh, to give it like a glazed effect uh, so uh, unfortunately yeah the light's not going to come through on that one uh, very well but it will come out the back so it will be more noticeable when we get when I get the next boards up uh, so I'll get eight boards one for either end of the boards here and then six for the six for the back uh, and then I want to see if I can get a uh, if you like a back scene board and then I can put uh, a back scene all around it I was going to have a gap between the boards but um, space is not permitting uh, so well we'll have to work on that one when we get the boards uh, so at the present moment, yeah, I shall finish their these off. There's still plenty to do on these yet. Still got to get the river done. Oh, sorry, the lake. And uh, so I get the wires up, get the track down here. Um, finish off the scenics um, on the back. This one, uh, I'm going to leave until I put a back scene on, and then I can have some half relief or low relief. Um, buildings uh, I've already got some from the previous layout you know like cinema bank etc uh, so they can go there but yeah I need the back scene to be able to put them up otherwise they're just gonna uh, get damaged as well uh, I have managed to damage two of the trees that's why the trees are missing from here Hello, uh, quick update uh, for everybody, um, carrying on from usual, uh, I've managed to get some line side boxes, 3D printed, and well, this was a freebie, uh, as I say, free sample, uh, some barrels and a uh, point motor, so that looks good. Um, so I should be using those on the layout later. Um, point motor, I've got no points on the motor layout at the moment. Um, 
these yeah these are white ones they're both from the same supplier uh, obviously they're different resin uh, so we've got some gray ones which are great because I don't need much to paint those and uh, bring them to life white ones can change to whatever but yeah there's eight in a pack i think two four oh sorry six in a pack yeah and these are from line side 3d models and great uh, relay cabinets line side relay cabinets line side relay cabinets so yeah uh, these were a good price about them paying the extortionate price that you get from ratio and that um uh, it's uh, quite good and they all fit nicely on the layout um got the places for those or some of them anyway i'm going to use all of them at the present moment but then again when the layout gets a bit bigger um there's plenty of these to go around um i do like these little barrels um they're quite nice actually uh must be even the colours are not too bad because you've got have different um, things to go in them. Oil. Um, phew, I don't know. You know, you know what I mean. Anyway, that's all for the moment. Oh, and I did buy some flux solder paste because I uh, definitely needed some of that. Uh, 40 gram tin. All right, the 2024. So, anyway. So that's this for this week, uh, for this moment. Um, I shall still haven't wired up all the other lights yet, uh, but I shall do that uh, maybe this weekend. Uh, a couple of other bits to put do. I want to tidy up. Um, and I suppose I should start laying some uh, ballast, uh, but uh, at the present moment, uh, everything is as was. Um, still got to put my trees back, um, but I shall do that when I've finished playing about with the layout and stop moving it sideways because they tend to get broken. Um, and there you go, still got the layout to go. Anyway, that's all for now, and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and you know, and like the video, and it's good to see you all, and I'll, see, I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Uh, a bit of a further update, and here are the street lights at last done on the rear of the layout or the last bit of the layout. Uh, they're flickering a bit because I've only got them attached to a, a, a little 3 amp, uh, 3 volt uh, battery pack. Ta da! Um, so they're all working. We've got two there, two there, and oh, one here. Seems to see. Yeah. Um, I haven't done a lot because I've been a bit ill and I've been having problems. But anyway, less of that. Uh, so I have got a bit further and done some more scenic bits. Some um, grouse and uh, some flock and that in there just to give it a used appearance, uh, normal appearance. Uh, still got lots to do. I've got to reinstate the trees. Uh, I've got one big thing about doing those at the moment because they're sort of fragile, so I might have to get some more sturdier trees um still haven't made any more track but we will get around to doing that uh, in the near future because uh, i've got the lights running so i shouldn't have to keep uh up in and down in the, the layout oh sorry I'm going a bit fast hopefully you're not too dizzy Anyway, I shall do some more later, and I shall uh, up, put another update on. I thought I'd put this uh, update in because uh, I haven't done one for about a week or so, and uh, just to let you know how I'm progressing. Um, I have found a 
shit. Um, more of a vehicles. Um, and I shall put them on the layer later. Again, the natives I've not put in because he puts the layer on its side to do wiring. Uh, and I've not found a very good way of stopping them from falling off. I mean, I could glue them, but I don't really want to glue them now. So I shall have a go at finding some tack or something to use so that they go on temporarily. I don't want to glue them down, as I say, and I don't want to make them permanent, so uh, I'll see if I can find some blue tack or white tack or something, something that can stick the vehicles down. Anyway, next area is to finish off this, I mean I put some bits there, oh excuse the white glue, that's neat PVA, but that's going to peel off uh, anyway, so I shall pull that off. Just got <coughs> this on the side of the bridge to do. Uh, a bit more flop. Um, and then I really need to sort this area out uh, and put in what I was going to put in. I uh, still want to do fences. Uh, so I shall have a go soon. Alright. Anyway, that's all for the moment. Talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. Yeah, uh, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and you'll get notified of updates. Uh, press if you like. And any comments are welcome. Uh, thank you uh, for watching Paul's Engage channel.